gonna go ahead and start cooking this chicken too. It's a hot rock. I'm getting smoked out over here, bro. So bad. I'm about to be eating like a king out here, bro. Always carry a little bit of little bottle of uh, extra virgin olive oil. This is a Jack Daniels bottle. But that's olive oil. That's what I put in that rice. It's good to have this because, you know, if if your knife ends up getting rusty, if you're out in the rain, if you, if you coat your knife in your hand or rub it in good with a little rag, olive oil is good to help protect it from moisture for your knife and stuff like that. Plus, you can cook with it. It's not going to hurt you if you put it on your, on your uh, knife because if you eat, eat it. It's just olive oil. Yup. Look at this fire, man. Got that chicken breast cooking. Got that rice cooking. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, folks. Check it out. Mm. Damn, somebody shooting back here in the distance. Don't come to the south, baby. Don't come to the south. <laughs> it's all about guns, God, and Easy women. <laughs> I'm so hungry, man. I'm going to eat this stuff and get back with you guys in a little bit. Get this fire popping. Check it a little bit. Man, I'm sitting right here. This fire is warm. It is hot. It's so hot, it's about to melt my phone lens. Burnwood's out here doing it. Got that long fire in that long fire pit. Check that out. I just ate the chicken and the rice. I am feeling nice and full. My belly's happy. Drinking on the beer. The temperatures dropped down to uh, 35 degrees and it's 10 o'clock at night. It's going to be 22 by 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah. <clears throat> See one, one, of the, one of the big things that um, I've been trying to do is make sure that I have a foolproof system in my, you know, whatever backpack I'm using. Of the necessary things that you know if I, if I had to spend a couple overnights in the woods I, I could because all that stuff that I need is in my backpack so it's an ongoing struggle trying to get 
what I need that's going to last a long time and stuff that's packable and if, unfortunately you have to pay more money to get stuff that's more packable but good quality but I'm talking about like the dire necessities something to cook in stainless steel so titanium whatever it is it's going to last forever a nice tarp a good tarp that's going to be waterproof in case you need to put up a shelter real fast you know the fire steels everything that, that you could possibly need in one pack you know I can't put, put a whole lot of clothes and jackets in that pack but if could I survive a couple nights with it yeah with my sleeping bag and stuff strapped to the bottom yes see that that's what I'm trying to get put together um, and and once I get to the point I'm not gonna buy no more shit because I got it how I want it because I'm always going to use it but um, uh, sometimes I think damn is it ever going to end am, am I ever going to get it right because I feel like these little assault packs that I'm carrying are not big enough my big ass pack it's too heavy if I put a lot of shit in it it's, it's like super heavy so it's not like a hiking backpack but it will hold a lot of stuff so I'm kind of at a crossroads in between having having the necessities that I feel that I need for your average bug out bag and I, I still don't have everything that I, I, I really need like a little fishing tackle box little, little tackle kit you know fishing line there's a lot of different stuff that that should go in a bug out bag that I don't have in mine and uh But yeah. So I've been out here gathering some more wood. <clears throat> Got some small stuff right there. A couple big ones. And I just went and cut a cedar. I don't know if it's completely seasoned or not, but I just I just threw it. It's solid took me a while to saw through it but I just put those on there that should be some good fuel for the for for tonight cool little spot man I'm digging it Man, this fire is hot as hell. You know, when I, when I was putting the rocks around here, I didn't realize how big I was making this fire pit. That's a pretty big fire pit for a small, you know, small small spot in the woods. I have I have less fires than that in my big fire pit at my base camp. So this this is a big fire pit. It's long. That's exactly what I wanted. And uh, there's some more rocks around here. I'm, I'm going to gather them in the morning and kind of, kind of build it up in the back just a little bit on this side. <clears throat> but I like to feel the heat because I'm sitting right here. It's not hard to feel the heat from this mother. I'm telling you that right now. It is hot, but is it going to last? That's the question. That's the question of the day. Is it going to last? Probably not. Well, it's getting close to that time. Yeah. <sighs> 
Damn. That fire is hot. Two o'clock in the morning. I'm finally going to sleep. We'll see how long that burns. I'm gonna go to sleep. Catch you guys in the morning. I'm looking forward to coffee already. Good morning, folks. It's cold. I'm freezing. The fire's pretty much out. And uh, I don't even think throwing stuff on it, small stuff, is even going to get it going. So that's what I'm about to do now. I'm gonna get the fire going and make some coffee, man. guys I've really enjoyed this one I hope you have too it's very nice to get out and get in an overnighter like this <clears throat> gotta love Nescafe cheap coffee I think I made this one too strong but anyway thank you guys so much for tuning in if you like these kind of videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so that you know every time I post a new video. Cheers. <clears throat> Share my videos amongst your friends. Tell them that Burnwood is an awesome guy. And you really love to watch him burn his mouth on coffee you know if Inspire John was here I'd have to break out the zip ties no doubt yeah. <laughs> you be looking good in those jeans boy <laughs> looking mighty cute in them jeans boy Shout out Budget Bushcraft, Chillin' with Millen, Steph Outside, Yankees Outdoor Adventures, Inspired John, Wood Pigeon Outdoors, the IG Crew, you know what's up. Wah, wah, wah.